Well, this is the 2012 Cleveland Classic, and it's a it's a throwback uh, cosmetic that we're extremely proud of. It's uh, turned out very cool. And what's interesting about that is that the younger player maybe has never seen such a thing, this, this wood type of persimmon look, but it really resonates with them. It also is a really cool throwback look to the player that remembers playing this. Really, it's not about the look, though, 100%. Uh, there's a lot of technology built into this product. We have our largest face ever. It's deeper, it's bigger, it has more surface area than any golf club that Cleveland Golf has made. That gives us a lot of forgiveness, and when we look at the variable face that's behind there, the thinner areas near the outside give us a lot of uh, ball speed when we miss off center. So the large uh, retro trapezoid face mixed with a very large surface area and a very hot face are giving us huge ball speeds for players of all abilities. When we look at the sole of the club, it's truly a throwback. It's a beautiful sole, um, and people have really not seen one of these in, in several decades. It gives people a lot of confidence looking at the overall club and a look that a lot of players really like to look at. And the overall size is a little bit more compact than our other uh, 460cc club heads. From the top down, it's a very traditional size um, that is more indicative of the original 460 club heads. It makes the club very playable, pretty easy to turn over, um, workable for the better player, but the large face makes it very forgiving for the average player. The Cleveland Classic line as part of the right weight system is equipped with the same shafts that are in the current Launcher Ultralight series. We've updated the cosmetic slightly in working with Miyazaki to reflect the more of a, of a retro finish that uh, you would see. Smaller graphics, a black gloss texture that is um, much more of a throwback than the, the bright gold of the original Sikua. Um, when we look at that, it comes in uh, both a 290 and a 270 configuration and the shaft weights are tuned to match that. The overall club is a half inch shorter and more of a classic length configuration as well. So the overall package um, has a lot of technology built into it but is built to be a little bit more classic in its configuration for the player that hasn't made the jump to a, an overlength golf club.